Well, jewel mining and crafting with the alchemist's lives. So let's look into a little bit of it. Hey everyone, it's from Fisky Fox. From the announcement, turns out thousands of gold mining excavations have started to reveal deeper tunnels and larger caverns to explore in the hollow berry mines. Okay, Corey Smith Grin has finally managed to has finally agreed to let Hero Splunk even further into the abyss. On the other side, Herbert, the alchemist, has finished gathering his ingredients, ungents, and glasswares. All right, so you need a little potions and gold coins so new jewel mining quests now available lock jewel is required to mine for jewel makes sense as our rewards will be unlocked from that cache select a competent lead miner to head the mining party and up to five supporting heroes to mine for jewel and other unique words i've already done this um I started to I started doing. It. I said, you know what? Let me just make a quick video about it. But I already sent my miners off to, to jewel for, for jewel mining. But I I stopped myself near uh, the alchemist to come into it. So let's get into it. So anyway, you got to select one lead miner, and so that's what you want to pick your best miner, and then five you can pick up to five. Not you don't have to have five, but up to five other miners who their stats can assist, but the lead miner is going to kind of head to show in terms of how much you'll be able to unlock from your jewel that's locked. In the Alchemist, we visit Herbert the Alchemist and we can um, select some potions. So let's go into that because that's where I was at now there. So they have five potions initially. They have a health, health vial that requires, not going to go through all of this, but some steel fish, rock, what is this called? Rock something. Uh, Gaia tears in 300 gold. Then they have a full health potion, which is 3,000 gold. 20 Gaia tears. Four of the regular health vials. And some other ingredients. And some mana. And then full mana. And then a stamina. And the stamina is like 2,000 gold to make. So... It's pretty expensive for that and 10 Gaia tiers. So let's just make something easy off, off tops so like a regular health potion and possibly a mana potion just to see how that goes. So we have to approve each ingredient in this contract and I'm not going to keep you for that. Now more than likely you only have to approve these ingredients once. Uh, in this contract and then going forth to craft, you won't have to approve again. That's just second one. I'll do Gaia Tears so you can kind of get a sense of the time. So that's my thought is that once you approve these one time in a contract, you won't have to approve it in the future um, as long as you're you know, using like the steel. I think it's called Steel Fish. I may have messed up. And the Gaia Tears. Like I probably won't have to approve them ever again or the gold. So here we're crafting potions. So I'm gonna craft, craft a couple potions. I'm, I guess this will be useful in the future for now. You know, I guess when you're in battle with a, an enemy or you're off in a dungeon and you're trying to complete a mission, it'd be super useful to have all of these. So now that all four have been approved in the contract, I'm going to craft. Now I'll just show the jewel mining um, really quickly after we finish this. Continue. What are we making again? That's right. Let me have a look. It's perfect. Hope you use it well. Continue. And wow, I got one. So I want to make one of these. And you can see, yeah, my Gaia tears and my uh, gold are already approved going forward. Now just this, uh, lan like this lantern fish, a oh, lantern eye, they call it. Then, um... This and we we know we kind of knew the manta. This was going to be manta as well. Blue stem. It's going pretty fast and craft this really quick, so you can see it all on tape. You know this is going to be a pretty short video. It's just going to be me crafting some things. Now I do have enough to craft that stamina, but to be quite honest. I'm trying to get enough gold up to buy the golden egg. And it would be $1,000 if I just want to put the cash in it, and that's not going to happen. I mean, you know, just not. But, 
oh, I can craft like another one because, I, oh, because I have enough ingredients. Oh, okay. But we're not going to do that. So we're going to go here to the professions. Here, miners. See if I want to do it. I will start jewel miner and it would say select one lead miner up to five supporting heroes. I think all my people working right now or don't have any ability. But if it was, I could select this as the lead miner, you know, so you select whoever's your lead and the other ones. You just select the other five. That's how that works. But um, no, we're not doing this. How do I take you off there? Good. So that's a little bit. And hey, they have been following the game plan. Things are beautiful. So next up soon will be the launch of Crystal Veil. Vale. Get ready for that. You know, the snapshots are up until this is a bit of alpha for you. The snapshots are up until January 24th, 21st, 24th. I wouldn't be surprised if we launched a couple of days after that before the February. So look for the launch last week of January. That's my alpha for Crystal Veil. Vale. I'm just guessing, pulling it out of somewhere. You don't want to guess, but it is what it is. With that said, I love you. You love you. God loves us. And that's all that matters.